here in Pine Beach on the Tom's River where a couple of knuckleheads took their truck and drove across the ice uh, unsuccessfully. What do you got? I'm in uh, Pine Beach uh, across from Tom's River, which is over there. Check out this video. You can see a Coast Guard helicopter searching the icy river for a truck that apparently fell through. It all happened early Sunday morning, uh, late Saturday night, when a woman from Tom's River over there called Tom's River Police Department and said that she saw a truck uh, doing donuts, which is spinning in circles out here on the river. Now, they saw headlights and police responded to the Tom's River side. Police saw headlights from over there and then the headlights disappeared. So now when the truck was found, there was no sign of human life, but upon further inspection, authorities did find the deceased remains of a pet dog. Wait, Rohan, were they rescued or did they get out of the truck on their own? So. On Sunday afternoon, Andrew Meyer and Daniel Jolly turned themselves in to the authorities. They were not on the scene, so yeah, apparently Daniel Jolly, who was the passenger, didn't even get onto the ice. He actually got out of the car before it got in the ice, and Mr. Meyer made it all the way down here to where that flag is planted, uh, but he escaped with his life before the authorities got there. So the, they did not, they were doing a search and rescue mission, and there was nobody in the water. So now I wanted to get a little bit of information from somebody that was on the scene, so I actually spoke to the former mayor of Pine Beach. His name is Russell Corby, I went to his house. We talked about the scene and the response. So they did a Herculean job yesterday. They really, uh, the state police was here, obviously the Coast Guard, the local responders, the fire companies and, and the police. They did a, a great job under very, very difficult conditions. It was snowing uh, yesterday morning. Right and bitter cold. So now they haven't been charged as of yet criminally, but this could be very serious. One, it could lead to jail time, and two, they might have uh, to be responsible to pay restitution to the Coast Guard, maybe $8,000 an hour for their wasted time. I'm yeah. happy to hear that. They should. It's murder. There was clearly a dog inside that truck, that pickup truck. Yeah, maybe they were playing games, maybe doing donuts, but what about that dog that lost their lives for their pleasure? Well, murder is a charge that we reserve for humans, but it would be cruelty to animals. Um, they could I face honestly, say up to six years in prison for what they did. Not for no, murder, well, they but also, they deserve it. They could also face environmental charges for dumping a truck full of fuel into the Toms River. Uh, criminal uh, negligence as well. Where's the truck now? I'm not quite sure where the truck is. I don't think that they actually extracted the truck out of the water after they found out there was no remaining in there. I think that's a whole nother job for a, uh, a whole nother day. Wow. All right. Thanks, Rohan.